What is going on, man? Before I start, man, I want to shout out to Confident Creator. I actually got this video topic um, and actually looked into the video itself on Destiny versus Sneeko and Fresh and Fit. And it was I was so glad that um, he went online and talked about this issue um, because there was so much to really uh, unpack. Let's check it out. It's not just the celebrity thing, but it's all of hypergamy. That's why there's less marriage. No. People are like don't know how to settle hypergamy has nothing to do with marriage you're playing the game again where you're saying one guy f a lot of women it seems one guy dates a lot of women hypergamy, hypergamy doesn't date, keep no, women out of the it's dating bigger market. than just the celebrity thing it's tinder it's social media people think that they have so many options now because of our phone now let me say before we even start this video a lot of what you're gonna see is that you know even with all the status even with all the money that these guys have they still don't understand their access and so they blame women because they don't understand their access. Aid and Mary within their class, within their education, within their race, within their geographic region. That happens like 95% of people around the world. Um, the one thing that I, I put under a confident creator is the more you listen to Fresh and Fit, it doesn't matter how clouded they are, um, they still have no understanding of women outside of social media. So even in real life, they don't have an understanding or a grip on how women um, act in the real world men tend not to care about male body count right because when people see a woman with a high body count they think lack of control when you see a man with a high body count you think this guy's in control right he's capable of like achieving a lot right agree now however i think body count matters to women but i think it comes up in a different way so let me go ahead and say this if you've seen my tiktoks and all this stuff i always tell people that body count is irrelevant i can argue that shit all day every day People want to philosophize and, and theorize and things like that. But at the end of the day, body count doesn't matter. Um, most people don't tell the truth about their body counts, men or women. Um, even in this video, Myron admits that men overdo their body count, women oh, when, women underdo, uh, which isn't always the case for either people, right? Like we do know men that are out there having sex with women on a regular basis. We do know women that are out there not getting sex at all. So even in that half truth there is another side of that story correct so specifically body count doesn't matter because you don't know someone's true body count you kind of have to go off of what they believe and so really what that is is just your ego playing playing tricks on you a lot of times um that's just the truth of the matter if your girl is beautiful nine times out of ten you thinking that girl's out there getting dug out uh when in all reality most of these men are not approaching women that that reach into that seven eight nine range most men are not um physically approaching these women out into the real world they might hit them in the dms when they're wearing a swimsuit or when they half naked or whatever on the instagram i don't use those as telltale signs because at the end of the day most of those women don't even answer dms they've admitted that too on fresh and fit most of those women don't answer dms they just sit there and they look at it and they keep it moving the other part of this conversation is women care about body counts as it relates to children so let me give you an example if a man is out there and he's nick cannon popping out 10 11 children at a time then she cares about body count because you don't have discipline in yourself and you're spreading your seed and on average an average man that we're talking about here doesn't have the money to take care of these women i mean these um children and women correctly um and so if you are being serious about a relationship with the woman and you have all these children she's thinking about that she's thinking about your bodies as they correlate with how many children you've had and how many baby mothers you have things like that it's something different if you just got out of like a marriage like you got three kids to one woman okay that's one woman to deal with you know what i'm saying but if you out here future and you have multiple baby mothers and things like that most women take that into accountability um, a lot of women like to think that multiple bodies means experience, which that's not always the case with men, too. Um, I've had women uh, come forward and talk about how they took in trash penis and that man penis was trash. Then he probably didn't change any bit uh, because she didn't teach him anything new um, and vice versa, I guess. But um, I think that's a, that's something that also goes into this body count situation. If you're with a man, your boyfriend fiance whatever you love him you respect him would it even come to your mind to have sex with other dudes no i don't want to have sex with nobody else okay now let me flip it if that guy's in a relationship with you and he loves you you know what the reality is he wants to have sex with other girls i'm sure of it okay 
So you were people like, oh, well, that's like me having sex with my homeboys. And I'm trying to say it's not because you don't really want to have sex with them. So what I got from Myron at this point was that uh, basically the dynamics between like girl and boy best friends. A guy has girl best friends. He want to have sex with his girl's best friends. Um, girls are different. They don't want to have sex with their guy best friends and things like that. Um, that's cap. I have um, beautiful um, girlfriends, homegirls, things of that nature. And um, no, I don't want to have sex with them. Um, and honestly, if you see women as human, <laughs> other than second class citizens and property, you don't want to have sex with them either. You, you create a relationship with them um, that is unbreakable. The fact that that is your homegirl, um, especially if you guys have been going through a lot, uh, it's, it's not about sex. Uh, and also, that just sounds like blasphemy, too, uh, that you just want to have sex with somebody just st off the strength that they're your friends. Um, you, when you develop that type of friendship with somebody, you don't want to fuck it up. Uh, and so, and I would think that's vice versa for women, but I think also destiny made a point as well. I, I didn't, um, get a chance to really clip it in here. Um, but that there's, there's a difference between wanting to have sex with like other, uh, genders, for example, for example, I'm a man, I'm a straight man. When I see some uh, beautiful girl walking down the street, am I thinking how beautiful she is, fantasizing things of that nature? Could be. Not all the time, but could be, right? Same thing about a woman. A woman will see Idris Alba, see Morris Chestnut naked on screen. I would be dumb to think that, you know, she doesn't see this man as a beautiful man and, and things of that nature. Or even like a guy that's out on the street. She sees a guy that's super handsome or that comes up to her and talks to her. But that's the boundary of respect. You know you have a boyfriend. You know that you're creating a life with your boyfriend. You don't want to fuck that up. Vice versa with the men. You know you have a life with your girlfriend. You don't want to fuck that shit up. So you know that. You understand that. Because if you take an average 21 year old female and an average 21 year old male, the average 21 year old female is going to be far more sexually experienced than the average 21 year old male. Probably. Um. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> in this, I'm not even gonna let y'all like in this day and age. The, it's been thrown. It's a known fact. Like men fuck more than women. No, now, not true at all. Okay, yeah. but let's talk about my age group, the 21, 22 year old. Maybe the guys that you're talking to, but the the average no, guy. No, 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 no. That's not the guy that stat? I was talking to. He what he brought up specifically was a 21 year old male and a 21 year old female. No, in this day and age, I disagree. In this day and age, I disagree, and I feel as though that a 21-year-old male definitely has more experience than a 21-year-old female. That's not you, true at all. Okay, no. well, that's what One I believe. One in three that. men haven't had sex in the past year or are virgins mm. in the West. One in three men. There's more virgins in the West in the having West? sex. Yeah. You said in the West? So I wanted to pause it right there because the stat that Sneeko's actually referring to um, was the new age of 18-year-olds. That are coming through that are now becoming virgins and things of that nature not 21 year olds she is being very specific i also cut out the part where she didn't know that <laughs> what western meant so um but specifically to the point this is also what i hate about like the red pill is that they don't actually understand the and not articulate in the stats that they post but the the, the stat that um, Sneeko was specifically talking about is that it's that the 18 year olds are the ones that are growing versions and things like that. But once you reach like 21, you got to think to yourself, that brother is going through college. Uh, he's going through life. He's met some woman um, that wants to have sex with him. And, and most of the time at that point, men are learning um, about being sexually active, how to access sex things like that unless you just a schmeagle unless you just the dude from fucking notre dame so uh outside of that yes <laughs> these guys are having sex um the vast majority of men don't get laid exactly yeah. right that's not true that's not true bro the top that's... earners are getting laid the average guy is already getting laid, laid like that and if and you want to just say it was only it was it's high now but it's still 30 percent haven't had sex one in three so the majority of men 66 yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe once or twice a year but it's way less than uh, the but compared, compared, is compared to women up. though it's way less so you guys are just sitting up here having okay, sex real quick, twice just, a year? i'm pulling up stats on this because so no, yeah. the average american loses his or her virginity at 17 virgins make up 12.3 percent of females and 14.3 percent of males so it's a little bit higher on the male side but um not that much it's two points higher for ages 20 to 24, which is the age group she's talking about. Thanks. And I love the fact that Destiny didn't waste no time, pulled the phone out, went and looked up the data. But dog, we already knew this though. It's, it's not, it's not a, um, 
It's not something that's like nuance. Is <laughs> once men hit twenty one and onward, man, a lot of us are, are are having sex. It's not that many versions once you make it towards the age of twenty one. Um, so I don't know what the hell Sneeko was talking about. Well, I do know he was talking about, but he wasn't even in the age group that she was specifically talking about. Um, and that's what I hate. I hate when they all try to like throw stats out there and they don't actually know the articulation and where that stat actually comes from and what she's specifically talking about. They just think that they could throw any stat in there and that it fits into every, any narrative that they want to throw at these women. Girl yeah. going in Kansas City. It's like getting flown out to Dubai. Yes, she is, bro. No, no. No. I guarantee you guys you are somebody wild. Somebody get flown tonight. You're coping, man. Well, I just want to hear, for, for the record, yeah. for you three to answer this, uh -oh. what percentage of college women do you think are being flown around the world? Very I want to hear little. from all if three to argue, I want to hear. Off of like probability wise, if I argue, maybe like 30, 40, 50. Just dumb. Now, I'm going I'm to be honest with you. I blame social media nuance for a lot of these conversations that are happening. Being flown out, and this is the comment that I actually put under um, confidence creators thing is that flown out is not a nuanced conversation it's mostly been happening with like elites and people who have like this obscene amount of money to blow and they don't know what to they don't know what to do with the money so you know they find popular instagram women porn stars things like that to actually go out and fly out and things of that nature now the the problem is is that now a lot of these average guys and it's not even really a lot it's really a few of them that are doing this um have caught wind of this start p uh picking up trying to pick up women this way um only to fail to be honest with you um and just just being honest and so what it does what it, social media did was it created this um this fear mongering because these guys are talking about it so often and they don't understand that majority of the women that are between the ages 19, 18, 19, 20, 21, none of them women um, are going to just take a chance and go out to human trafficking is real. Uh, sex trafficking is real. These women know that they know they understand that on college campuses. The, to be honest with you, man, I feel like the older women get, man, they really don't want just some random dude touching on them, no matter how much money you plan on throwing at them. So, I think that I think that one thing about Fresh, bro, that boy, he know how to embarrass himself. Uh, there's no way you think that 30, 40 percent of, of college women are, are flying them are flying from college to go to some random country or some random state with some average dude or even like a, a rich dude. Um, a lot of these women are within that state. I mean, uh, within that state of mind, they've already done it a couple times. Uh, they already have like the Instagram followers that clouded up women. Um, Selena Powell was clouded up. A lot of these, Elena Rose clouded up. She was a porn star. A lot of these women that you're hearing about, they're not just regular women from college. They're women that have some sort of status that are being flown out. You want to be with the average man? You, I, know you've seen, I know you've seen the Courtney Ryan videos and don't equate this like, oh, Miami girls are different. They step back they're, out of necessity. They're, they're from all, the all different places. Yeah. Earth. You're saying that it's just Miami. But how much do you think? Do you really think that they want to settle down with the average guy? We can do it right now. And, and I'm gonna, no, gonna, it's a dumb it. question because <laughs> nobody wants average. Like even an average guy, given like the opportunity, wouldn't want the average woman. I Everybody a lot wants of average guys average. would be happy. But I think with so let's have a little reality check. Sneeko, you think that if given a chance, men wouldn't date a Rihanna? If you think, given a chance, people wouldn't date, uh, women, uh, men wouldn't date Megan Good. Let's flip it to the women's side. You think, given a chance, women wouldn't date Chris Brown? I'm just talking about as the person, the physical person, not going through what he went through. Just Chris Brown himself. Um, do you think that women wouldn't date? I don't know uh, Gucci Mane now without the belly. Shit, I know women out date Gucci Mane with the belly. So, um, you know, do you think? nobody what he's specifically saying and i'm also speak to um the the miami mindset what people are really talking about when they're saying that and i wish that you know uh, destiny would have articulated this is that miami has a mindset these women are going there because they're seeing pictures they're seeing instagram reels i'm actually going through this myself with some of my friends and some of the people that are close to me over the past year people see the pictures they see the the women they see all this stuff on my instagram they see uh people that i'm hanging out with they see pictures when i when i post them and things like that and they want that lifestyle because they believe that i'm living an above average lifestyle they think that because they see this beach because they see uh some of the things i get to do some of the places i get to go 
uh, some of the traveling that I'm doing that it is above average. Nobody wants just to go to work, to, to come home, to do all this stuff, right? They want to be able to go travel the world. They want to be able to put money aside. They want to be able to buy lavish things. That's above average. It's the same thing in women and men. If you had the opp- if women had the opportunity to date a, a six six built motherfucker that had a lot of money, women would do that. Yes, that's not what he's arguing though. Most people want above average. That's what they want. Um, most people do settle into reality that is their life and go and get the people that are in front of them. They're showing them love. They're showing them they have the money. They have money to, to at least travel. You know what I mean? Most people, they look at the ROI, return on investment within that relationship. So 